Okay, today the topic is the bad debt, irrecoverable debt and provision for doubtful debt. Okay, this is the syllabus that we need to learn. Understand the meaning of irrecoverable debt and recoverable of debt written off. Prepare the ledger account and journal entry to record irrecoverable debt. Prepare the ledger account and journal entry. Explain the reason for the maintaining a provision for doubtful debt. Prepare ledger account and journal entry. Okay, let's go on. Okay, some definition that we need to understand for the syllabus. An irrecoverable debt is an amount owing to a business which not been paid by the customer which is that this amount confirmed were not paid by the customer. An irrecoverable debt recover is the debt previously has been written off as an irrecoverable debt and now customer come back and pay for it. So to the business, this is a other income because we already closed the customer account. Whereas irrecoverable debt is an expenses to the business, reduce the profit. A provision for doubtful debt is an estimate. The key thing is the estimate, which is we not confirm how much the amount. We just do the estimation. Normally, it's by rate, which a business will lose in the financial year because of the bad debt or irrecoverable debt. Journal entry for the irrecoverable debt return off. First, when we have an irrecoverable debt, we debit irrecoverable debt, credit trick is receivable. If you have the name of the customer, put the customer name in here. In future, if suddenly the customer come back and pay, then we will debit the bank or cash, credit irrecoverable debt, recover. Now, from the business point of view, this is a two financial impact. Irrecoverable debt is a inc a will affect the income statement because it's a expenses. So expenses will increase, profit will decrease. Whereas trade receivable in the statement of financial position deduct directly from the trade receivable account to show the net amount how much that we are putting into the statement of financial position under the current asset. So this is under current asset. Bank, when we recover the bad, irrecoverable debt, we will debit the bank. Bank in the statement of financial position, it will increase. Current asset, this is also under the current asset, under the current asset. If recoverable debt recover is in the income statement, so therefore, it will increase the other income. Next, move on. Reason to maintain a provision for dark food debt. Okay. Under the prudence concept, saying that when we have estimated loss incurred, we have to record immediately. At the same time, under prudence concept, saying that the profit should not be overstated. Trade receivable or current asset also should not be overstated. To prepare for the debt that are likely to turn back in the future. So there is a purpose we prepare the provision for that for that because we estimate in future we will not be able to collect it. Under the matching concept or accrual concept, all known loss should be matched against the revenue within the same period so that we can recognize the provision for the food debt treated as expenses to reduce the revenue recognized in the same period. In order to calculate the true and fair value profit figure for the year, so that we know that what is the actual or more accurate profit should be recognized. There is a matching concept. Match the losses. The losses means that when we debit the income statement, 
for the provision doubtful debt for doubtful debt okay this amount will reduce the profit but somehow that in the case of irrecoverable debt the amount written off in the period may relate to the sales from another period there is a time lag between sales and finding out the debt is back if this overlap to accounting period this will break the matching concept what it means is that sometimes the actual happen of the bad debt the irrecoverable written off we write it off could be let's say example this is a 2022 okay we are we are known we do not know that a customer will not pay us so we didn't do any provision but somehow in 2013 23 the customer suddenly bankrupt cannot pay us it's become confirmed irrecoverable irrecoverable debt so this caused the different timing because we have recognized the sales in the 2022 but irrecoverable debt or provision of for the doubtful debt did not recognize at the same time so we will cause the timing difference issue so it's important for the business when it's foreseeable loss this is foreseeable loss we have to start to do the provision in order to reduce the profit that not supposed to be recognized. Okay, next is that there are different types of the provision for that for that. First, specific. Specific means that we are knowing that which customer exactly is the one. Specific provision happen when you know exactly which customer that you want to write it off as a bad debt in future but it's not confirmed yet because they are still in the process to finalize whether confirm not confirm to collect so if you have the a b c customer a owing ten thousand b owing one thousand c owing seven thousand so total amount that outstanding is 18,000. This is total trade is zero per month. Out of this one, we confirm that quite sure this unlikely paid, but we haven't taken action on it. So we put provision specific 100%. General means that if we don't know any one of it can become a bad debt, but we foresee based on the experience, based on this experience, we may have 3% out of 3% of this will become a bad debt. So we provide the provision for the double debt. Specific and general makeup of the debt that are thought to be doubtful plus a percentage of the remainder. Like example, the cases here. Just now we say that this B customer confirmed most of the time, like, I'm quite sure that we want to provide 100%. So in this case, when we calculate the specific and general in, at the same time, so to find how much that we should recognize, we have to take 1,000. This is the amount for the provision for that for that. And then we have to take 18,000 minus 1,000 times the 3%. So this is 100%. And then this one will be 17,000 times 3%. So we will get 510. So this total amount we will recognize as a provision for the food debt. That is the amount to it recognized in the income statement. So that is how we calculate when we have combined specific and the general. The journal entry for the provision for the food debt. The, when we first time created in the question, when they say create provision for the food debt to create. So this provision for the food debt, first time, the double entry must be debit income statement, credit provision for the food debt. And first year must be the expenses. Okay. Next is that 
Subsequent year, calculation of the provision. It could be debit income statement, credit provision for double debt, or debit provision for double debt, credit income statement. When we have second year, subsequent year, in, we have this situation. The debit income statement means that basically our balance carry down is more than the balance brought down in the beginning of the year. So it means that the provision, provision account, balance brought down must be in the credit side, balance carried out in the debit side. So it means that this balance carried out more than the balance brought down. So in this case, income statement is in here. Whereas if we have provision for double debt, which is the credit income statement, then in this case, the provision account, provision for double debt. Balance brought down still the same, balance carried down still the same. These two positions must be but income statement amount sitting in here. This is the adjustment or differences between balance carry down, balance brought down. So this one, when you have debit provision for the full debt, credit income statement, this is the income to the business. How are we going to reduce the bad debt or irrecoverable debt? One of the actions we can do is we send the statement to the customer, statement of account to the customer end of the month to remind them for the payment. Or other than that, offer cash discount means encourage the customer pay earlier. Limit the credit, set the limit in the system. So in your system, you can set the limit. You limit the customer how much they can take. Let's say 1,000. You set in the system 1,000. A moment sales a achieve 1,000, the goods cannot be delivered. Charge interest on the overdue amount. This one, you charge interest, customer won't be happy, but it will help to reduce the chance that customer didn't pay. Use debt collection method, invoice discounting debt collector. Invoice discounting means that you sell your invoice to the bank. Bank can give you the money. Bank can uh, chase the money from the customer, but normally this time, Business is normally the customer have the LC, letter of credit. Or you get the debt collector to chase money for you. So that's for the irrecoverable and the provision for that food debt topic.